Hey guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com talking about psychic development and spiritual and personal growth. And in this video, I'm going to actually address a very specific question that one of my favorite clients, Sean, asked me about. And it's related to this energy healing methodology that I've talked about in other videos. It's the Bengston method, B-E-N-G-S-T-O-N created and developed by Bill Bankston. And the reason I'm so hyped about this energy healing technique is that he tested it in hundreds and hundreds of controlled laboratory experiments on mice with cancer and it cured the cancer. So um, it really works. It's been proven effective. And there's a whole big thing about how the technique works and if you're interested i highly recommend reading his book the energy cure he also has an audio program called hands on healing that's produced by sounds true productions and he also does workshops every year you can go to his website uh, i think it's bankston research and they list all the workshops they do and those workshops are very fun and I would highly recommend doing it because I purchased the audio program and it kind of got stuck and I couldn't kind of get the technique down. And then when I went to the workshop, I totally got it and started working with it. So um, before I get into this specific thing that Sean wanted me to cover, I need to tell you something that's so cool about this energy. I'm still learning it and practicing it. and. I, um, what I also love about it is you can charge cotton or water or different things with the energy. And so I charged up some cotton a while back and because I'm still learning, I wasn't sure if it was charged or not, but Hey, whatever I did it. And then I hit my toe really hard on a piece of furniture. Um, it was awful. I screamed and like the next day I couldn't even put my shoes on. My foot was black and blue. I must have just like plowed into that and like I, there was a, it was my baby toe and there was like a nasty, like a red line and it looked really bad. You know, I could, couldn't even walk in flip flops really. And then it wasn't till that was Sunday night and it wasn't till Wednesday that I realized I had this charged cotton and might as well just try wrapping it in it. And that completely got better. I wrapped it. Um, you use the cotton like four days in a row and then you get rid of it. That broken toe healed in three weeks and that's rapid for me. I don't heal that quickly, generally speaking. So that was incredible. And I'm just trying things out and testing things out as Bill suggests that we all do if we're learning this methodology. So the nuts and bolts of it. First things first, you the core of it is like making this list of things that you want um, that have nothing to do with anybody else. Like you can't have a person on there or anything. It's just something you want. You have to be really selfish and, and only think of like silly things, whatever they are, big or small, that you want. Now I'm not going to go into the specifics of how to create that list of at least 20 things because Bill does it really well and it would take, I quite a long time to, to cover all of that. But what I wanted to talk about or what Sean asked me about was how you actually get to this process, which is called image cycling, um, how you start to cycle those images. So essentially what you are to do is like kind of put them in some kind of system that rotates like, um, like a clock or a fan or a, like Bill said, like a Rolodex or a um, film strip something that has a looped like end and it can go around and around and around and you start off by just with that you put all your images like in your mind you place them like that and then if you're following his audio course he'll say image 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 and you just try to see a new image every time like be a different one of those at least 20 images because image 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 and you get used to that and then he has a drum and he starts to beat on the drum because to say the word image takes too long for you to cycle. Like you want to get to cycle like really, really fast. And so then he would beat the drum and it then says like beat, 
beat, beat, and with every beat you see an image. And then it's like he's raining on the drum and it's going so fast you can't really hold on to an image and so you kind of have to like let go and the images start, you just basically don't even see your images, it's just like a blur. And whatever you've chosen to make it go really, really fast, you just see it going faster and faster and then you hyper accelerate it and, and you can visualize like what happens when something goes really fast. Like let's say you have the blades of a fan and if those blades are going like ludicrously fast, like, like a helicopter, that's one of the things that I was playing with when I was practicing, like seeing them like a, the blades of a helicopter that goes up in the air and then that you know, that helicopter is able to fly, but you want to go even faster than that. And what happens when something goes that fast? Like it, it can um, disappear. It can turn into light. It can actually create a vacuum in, in space time and, and whatever else you can think of. But the key is to just practice seeing something like that going really, really fast. And I've been working with, uh, healer who does this method for my own physical body and, and emotional stuff too to practice healing and he said his special technique is to use um, or to visualize like a hurricane or a cyclone and it was it's funny as an anecdote to you um, the synchronicity that pops up with this because when I was practicing with the helicopter methodology um, I was at the beach with my son and we we looked up and there was like a little person sitting in the seat of this thing that was like flying around like a fan like propelling him or her like up in the air and like oh my god that's so weird and random and awfully funny too and then I um, would see helicopters a lot so like a helicopter was like right outside our in our neighborhood one time but when this healer told me about his technique with this hurricane. There was a hurricane actually in the news. And so I was trying to practice doing my images with that hurricane um, method. And every day I would see like the hurricane, the hurricane, um, which was also really funny synchronicity. But um, he said, you know how it goes so many miles an hour. Well, like over 150 miles an hour, something like that. He said, well, what you want to do is like put your pictures, your images in that hurricane, sort of in the top of it. And then imagine it's going 10 times faster than that. And to me, personally speaking, it's, it's harder for me to see the hurricane or to see it going that fast. It almost goes so fast that I see it like slowing down. But what I'm understanding, because again, I'm still learning this, but what I'm understanding um, that the key is, is that you do want it to go. It's like it, it the energy is generated by um, like how fast you're cycling those images um, and how fast whatever module like you put them into is circulating or spinning or whatever it is you want to have it be doing. So if you're wanting to learn this or you're working on it, it does just take a lot, a lot of practice, but it's really fun. And, and you, even when you don't think you're doing it, you actually are. And I've personally noticed a great litmus test is my cat. Um, and he's talked about this to animals and his wife, Margaret said the same thing, like animals are so easy and they know when you're cycling and when you're offering that energy or you're running that energy, my cat will come in and I'm not even sure if I'm doing it right. He'll sit on my lap and then he'll actually like lift up and like press his hips into my hand and then like turn and press the other way. Like they press their bodies wherever there is a need against where the energy is running. Um, so it's very, very fascinating. So if you are practicing animals, again, are like very fun and, and easy and they'll help you learn whether or not you're, you're doing it right. You can notice their reactions. Like he'll, he'll like really stare at me like, and like, and sigh sometimes. I was, um, in a practice group on the phone, like a, a virtual meeting kind of thing. And I had him in my lap, um, and I asked the group of people to 
you know, tune in or, or do like send the energy to him. The minute that they did that, he jumped up and, and walked away. So it was, he felt it. So your animals will feel it. And then once you get a sense of that, you can work with people or work with charging up materials and just, again, as he says, be playful with it, practice and, and see what works. And so I'll leave you with that. Thank you for watching and for more meditations and other, you know, workshops and things that I've created pertaining to psychic development and personal growth. Check out krishanti.com and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.